Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My uh, first question is for Mr. Cernfels. Mr. Cernfels, it's my understanding that McKinsey has a significant relationship with the Chinese Communist Party and the Chinese military, that you do significant work for them. What assurances can McKinsey give to this committee that McKinsey is committed to America and not the China Communist Party? Senator, we do no work, and to the best of my knowledge, never have for the Chinese Communist Party or for the central government in China. The vast majority of work that we do in China is for multinational companies. Many of those are U.S. companies and private sector uh, Chinese companies. And none of these companies are owned or subsidiaries or partially owned by the CCP? Not to my knowledge, Senator. Will all the uh, witnesses commit to give your list of Chinese cli clients to your U.S. government clients? Mr. Lesser. Senator, my understanding is the most recent uh, legislation of the National Defense Authorization Act sets very clear guidelines of, of what it means to be compliant and to ensure that all the work we've done is done in the most secure way and all information that needs to be shared is shared, and we will be completely compliant with those regulations as they're established. Okay. Mr. Sertenfils, will you disclose your list of Chinese clients to your U.S. government clients? Thank you, Senator. Um, uh, we go well beyond the OCI requirements in terms of disclosure, uh, and I'm happy to share that with you uh, afterwards uh, in, in quite a bit of detail. Mr. Klein? Senator Marshall, yes. Thank you. Mr. Kerry? Senator, yes, we don't work with any U.S. government entities, but yes, in the event we had to, yes. Okay. I'm going to come back um, to, to Mr. Stearnsville. So you're saying that you, you do do work with the DOD, correct? The Department of Defense? Senator, we do work with the Department of Defense. But you're not, you don't do any work with, with Chinese-owned companies? Senator, we do no work with the Chinese Communist Party or the uh, central government in China. Or Chinese-owned companies? The vast majority of our work, um, Senator, in China is with multinational companies, many of those U.S., private sector, Chinese institutions. So I assume some of those have Chinese ownership, and certainly, as I understand the CCP, it's, it's a very complex web. So as American taxpayers are, are spending money on DOD and they, in turn, are hiring you to do work, how do you make sure that, that none of those Chinese-owned companies are infiltrating or stealing uh, any of your intellectual property or, or spying on our military? I appreciate the question, Senator. And, and, and uh, as... Uh, as a son of a vet who spent four years in Subic Bay when my dad served in the Navy and both grandparents were vets, um, and uh, taking national security in the U.S. is incredibly important to me, sir. It's incredibly important. We have stood up a dedicated capability in working with the Department of Defense that we've collaboratively built with the DOD, both around dedicated um, information technology infrastructure, around how we staff and how we treat information um, that the DOD has vetted and approved. And, and if that's interesting, Senator, I, I can take you, take you through that in detail. Have, have you noticed any um, cyber attacks on, on those systems, and where do those cyber attacks come from? Senator, I, I can't give you the details on that. I can tell you that, as you well know, cyber attacks happen all the time. Um, we remain vigilant on this. We continue to invest um, significantly uh, to do our best to, uh, to defend. And we have worked collaboratively with the Department of Defense on our IT architecture um, to seek their approval for how we've actually set things up. I yield. Thank you. 